Hey guys, welcome back. It's Neon. I'm here with Squid King. Hello. And we're going to do something besides complain. <laughs> complain about pop culture. We're actually going to unbox and review an arcade one-up final fight machine. Yeah. Now, we've been eyeing these up for a while, and we finally got one. And uh, it was a choice between this and Mortal Kombat. But uh, I, I got Final Fight because I think it's got you know more games on it, obviously. Mortal Kombat just had Mortal Kombat games on it. Yeah, so this has um, Final Fight, which is a classic, 1944, Ghosts and Goblins, one of the freaking hardest games ever, and Strider, which is actually one of my all-time favorite Capcom games, so very underrated game, so pretty excited about this. I actually remember playing Final Fight for the very first time. I was younger than Squid King, and it was in Arcade at Knobles, which is an amusement park in Pennsylvania, and uh, I remember playing it for the first time, being like, oh my god, look how good the graphics are! Yeah, so that was a long time ago. That was a long time ago. So we're going to open this up. We're going to put it together. Uh, we're going to see what all is involved with one of these. Like I said, this is the first machine we bought. And we got a riser for it, too. And then we're going to we're gonna play it. We're going to yeah. play it. All right, guys. So we're going to open this box up and see how they put these together, how they fit these machines inside the box. I think it's going to be kind of a construction project. Yep. We're going to have to put all this together. Uh, everything's packed in here. This is probably the. We'll find out. Let's see, that's a box. Take that box down here. And we'll get. Maybe I'll find what's in the boxes. There, now we can get a good look at the the uh, cabinet art here. I mean, this is the final fight, the final fight cabinet art. Really well, we got some instructions in here. This is gonna be like putting the IKEA together or something. So we'll see how hard this actually is. Very cool. All right, let's get this unboxed and get these little boxes unboxed and see where we're at. Okay, guys, you can get a better look at this gorgeous cabinet art. This is really cool. We're gonna see what's in the box here and these little boxes. See how they pack this. This is the first time I've, I've opened one of the, uh, the one-up machines. So this is. That's the the base. So the base. Okay. And what do we got over here? Oh. Come on, Squeak can get over here and help me. You young kids and your technologies. Yeah. I just don't get it. All right, so help me, help me with this box here. Just get this out. I don't know. I don't know. We don't know yet. Like I can't bring it. Yeah, it is. That wasn't important. I don't find out. What do you want me to do? Hold it. Help me pull stuff out. Okay. Well, you need to hold the box down. Hold the box. Right. Come on, Jeff. And they're pretty good. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. Eh. Man, they like really pack it tight. Well, at least we know the packing. Good. So gonna... Ah, there we go. Ooh. Buttons. Oh, shit. Buttons. Wow. Cool. Hot. So let's see what's in this big box then. 
Okay, this one is really heavy. We're gonna have to probably. This is, I believe, the screen. Yes. That's the screen. Okay. Don't. Oh yeah. Yeah. Don't drop that. Okay, I'm gonna have to get past you to set this down somewhere. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. So we are going to uh, make sense of all this and possibly maybe follow follow Ooh, the instructions. See. see how we do we'll see how we do and we'll be right back okay so there's a lot of parts here uh, we are looking at IKEA levels of stuff which makes sense because we are technically building an entire um, yeah here's a bag a bag full of little parts that we have to use I love a logo though Let's yeah see. this is cool yeah, I wish it was backlit though. That's that's one one well, minor. Gripe. I said my best guess though is they probably were afraid to package like glass or plastic and like light bulbs because I mean they had to really densely pack it as it is. All right, so we're gonna keep putting this thing together. Yep. Okay, we just had to get a video of this. Look. This is all right. This is this is what it looked like, man. It's even got the instructions. Look at this. Oh. Wait, what? All right, guys, we're still working on it. It's starting to look something like an arcade cabinet. Starting to, uh, so far, I think this takes about 45 minutes to put together, so we're gonna keep at it. Okay guys, we got a riser for this too. So we're gonna set the riser, and then we're gonna show you what the gameplay is like. Uh, it's pretty cool, pretty cool once you actually see one working. I'd never actually seen the final fight one before, um, so it's, it's really freaking cool. Hey guys, you can see we got this all together. We're checking out the cabinet for Final Fight. It is very, very close in the graphics, at least, to the original Final Fight arcade machine. Now, obviously, there are some differences. Uh, you know, it's small. It's like it's also quarters. important to know that we have a riser on this, so it's yeah. taller than it would normally be. Normally, it would be up to here. Yes, the so riser is definitely is recommended. Extra. The riser is definitely recommended. Uh, you can see that we've got, you know, I mean, it's got the everything from the arcade. It's, it's really cool. So, um, you know, what really impressed me about it, too, is just how heavy the joystick, the joysticks are. I mean, this feels like a legit arcade uh, joystick, you know. Um, now, some people complain about the sound. Uh, it's got mono sound. It does not have stereo but that's that's okay i mean i think for i almost feel like it makes it kind of like more authentic well they originally they had they had stereo up. oh yeah yeah but it's um i mean it's it's a nice unit it's uh obviously it's got final fight we've also got three other i think they were on the cps1 board uh 1944. ghosts and goblins one of the freaking hardest games ever freaking made and strider which is one of my personal favorites one of my all-time favorite genesis games i've actually I've actually, I was talking to Squeaky, I've never seen a Strider game in the wild. And uh, I used to hit arcades in Pennsylvania and California when I was a kid. I have never seen a Strider arcade machine ever. So we're going to take this for a spin. We're going to have the kids, uh, Pinky Boo is with us. And uh, we're going to play some some Final Fight. I didn't get to choose one. Oh, wait, I have to. There you go. Oops. She's better at this game than I am. Oh, oh no. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I just casually punched you in the face. 
take it down. It does not spark joy, so I killed it. It does not spark joy, so you killed it? Yeah. Is that, uh, what's that from, the one with that? Mary Joe Kondo? Kondo. Oh, yeah, How yeah. do you not know Mary Kondo? I watched her, like, once. Whoops, I keep punching you. If you haven't been able to tell, we are not professional Final Fight players. Oh That's okay. Uh, no. The fat guy! Punch the fat guy. So, uh, yeah, this game came out, I was like 11 or 12 when this game came out. And I remember playing it in the arcade. I think I said before, the very first time I played it was with my friends at Knobles, which is an amusement park in Pennsylvania. And uh, I remember when we watched it, like, when we first saw it, we watched the demo, we're like, oh my god, this is so much better than Double Dragon. You guys probably don't know what Double Dragon is. We played Double Dragon. Yeah, yeah you're pretty well cultured. They're pretty well cultured. I have a lot of retro games. We were um, thrown in a Petri dish. But it's authentic. The only um, thing that, you know, I mean, obviously the... Uh, the controls is, aren't the same. The control, yeah, they're, they're the same. Well, they're, they're the same, but not the same, like, layout. Yeah, it's a little bit different. Just don't let them sit on the It's compact. Thing. I mean, that's one thing... Um, it's a compact unit, but I mean, you know, these are these are great. They're, I mean, they're, they're they don't take up a lot of room. Uh, obviously, it's cheaper to buy one of these than it is to buy a, a full blown Final Fight machine now. I think. Um, I mean, we're talking two ninety nine. Sometimes some places you can find these for one ninety nine. I've seen uh, some of the units for uh, one ninety nine now. Uh, I was kind of had my doubts when we put it together because I'm like, is this thing gonna, you know? be sturdy. It doesn't look sturdy, but once you have it together and it's finished, it, it holds together oh, crap, pretty so well. Yeah, I mean, it's, oh, it's no, solid, not, especially you know, the riser please. on it is it's really solid. But it is, I mean, this is the real deal. This is a legit arcade Final Flight. Um, if I had any nitpicks oh, with it, I think it's just because it's on a uh, uh, an LCD monitor instead of a CRT display, is it does look like the colors are a little... Sorry. Different than what I remember in the arcade, it's a little bit brighter, maybe. This is a real deal. This is not, you know, uh, a remake. This is not like, you know, Super NES had a really garbage version of Final Fight. And they, uh. I was raised not to hit girls, but. <laughs> well, I guess technically. Suck, so. I te technically, they're not, I guess. It's complicated. It's also Japan. But no, it's it's pretty good. You guys want to you guys want to try a different game? Uh, yeah. Let's switch games. Okay, so Which we're gonna turn off. The, oh, the other one I tried was not. So you turn it back on. It has a really cool intro. Why don't you get the intro? I like how it has it the, on and off all day. The actual like instructions. Oh yeah, it's. I mean, it's a miniature replica of the real arcade. Yeah. Also has little like. drawings on the Okay, side. so we have Final Strider's Fight, good. Let's Ghost try and Goblins, 1944, and Strider. I've never Strider's played awesome. Strider. Uh, Strider is not too clear. I am so, not ever pressure. gonna play this one. Okay, so here we go. So I have been trying a little bit of this game. I'm still not great at it. Yeah, I said before that this is yo. This is one of my favorite Capcom games, and the first time I played it was for the Sega Genesis, which is awesome. I mean, it's almost identical to the arcade. I love the Genesis version, but I have never, I have never seen a Strider machine in the wild. And I used to go to arcades all over Pennsylvania, all over California. Um, you know, I kind of grew up on both both coasts, and I'd never seen never seen a Strider machine ever. Uh, so I don't know if it was hard to come by or what, but it was, yeah, I just, I'd never seen one. But I love the game. I mean, it's very short, but, uh, it's, it's really cool. Yeah, I'm not very good at this game. But it does. It feels like you're playing an arcade machine. It doesn't feel like... Yeah, it doesn't feel cheap. I like, thought... you know how sometimes with, like, those, like, budget-cut controllers? Yeah. You know, like, like, the PlayStation or the Xbox? Like, you can tell that, like, I'm not playing with a real brand controller. Yeah. This, I mean, like, if you dedicated your whole life to playing on arcade machines, you can probably tell. You know what I mean? It, it's solid. I mean, the controls are legit. It, and the price... I mean, the price point for these aren't bad. People are like, oh my gosh, for 300 bucks. I'm like, yeah, but that's not... Bad. You do, and it's, I mean, it feels, it feels authentic. Um, and I have my doubts, I gotta tell you, when I was putting it together, 
It, t- it took us way longer than I thought it was going to. It, it took us. about two and a half hours. Yeah, so if you're going to get get an arcade one-up machine, just you know, keep in mind that... That or it could be really bad at putting them together. Well, it's the first one we put together, but it's, it's a lot like putting together IKEA furniture, but once it's together, it's really solid. Yeah. It feels right. It is like, I think it's uh, 65 or 75% scale to the real deal. But it's it's great. I mean, they're they're great units. Uh, I really want to get Ninja Turtles. Really want to get Ninja Turtles. That's one of my all-time. I'm sure that one's like way bigger than this one. Ninja Turtles is one of my all-time favorite uh, arcade games. Oh, you got them. Did you want to try a different game now? So, there you are. Oh yeah, I'm green. This me? Yep. Wait, stop moving. I want to see it. I mean, you know it's mono sound, but it's actually really, really good. Yeah. Uh, and like, honestly, if you weren't, like, really focusing on it, you probably wouldn't notice. In the arcade, it's hard to tell. But, you know, think about the arcades, like, all the machines were sitting next to each other, and you just heard, like, you know, this, just all this noise, you know, from all these other machines and track sounds and everything else. Most people barely could make out the music in the games. Because um, everybody's playing next to each other, and the time's so. I mean, I live, like, you guys don't understand. I lived in arcades, comic shops, and shopping malls. I realize yeah, that. Like, well, that's sad. I know it's sad. I never went home. You can charge your attack if you hold down the button. You have to hold it down. I know. Yes, because this is exactly, exactly like Pearl Harbor. That part where for the Japanese, they brought their... their they're gunships that were literally just like guns strapped onto a ship. That, yeah, that was that went down in the history books. Okay. Okay, so Squid King is a glutton for punishment. He wants to play Ghosts and Goblins. Say glutton for punishment. Glutton. Gluttonous. God, that's weird. Satanist. Don't you just love it when you're sitting in a graveyard in your underwear underwear with your girlfriend yeah. in the middle of the night? And then Satan just attacks her. Yeah, and then like... And he takes your clothes? I would say this is definitely one of the better... I mean, we had a really tough choice. We were, we were on the fence about this one or Mortal Kombat, but... Um, I think this one, because it had more variety of games, and they were all, like, really good Capcom games, kind of sways. But now, now I'm kind of like, man, I wish we would get, we need to get more. No, maybe another time. Yeah, we'll get more. I really want Ninja Turtles. Really want Ninja Turtles. That, that, I think they just put the pre-order up for it, and I think it's sold out already. Um, yeah, the Pac-Man one. I want that one. You want Pac-Man? Oh, now stuff is moving. Oh, my God. I should pretty good at this. Well, never mind. I jinxed it. I jinxed This game is so freaking hard. Oh, thank God. Yeah, you, you get some... Some mercy. Oh well, that was fun. All right, so we're gonna wrap this one up, guys. I consider myself pretty okay at that, though. Yeah, that's actually not bad. Ghoul, ghosts and goblins. I always get mixed up. Uh, ghouls and ghosts is a sequel, and super ghouls and ghosts. You know. I'll play this as you do the uh, outro. Okay, so this gets a thumbs up. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Okay, I so think it's like five. Five thumbs up. Okay, wow. guys. So uh, this I one like was two ninety nine, and then I think it's fifty bucks for the riser. So this is the uh, the one up, one up arcade final fight machine, and that uh, Squid King has died. So we're gonna yeah, end the video. I did. Goodbye.